RP hot. What's up everyone, Alan Thrall here at Untamed Strength Gym, Sacramento, California. God, is it hot here or what? Anyways, here at Untamed Strength Gym, today I'm doing some pin squats. Give I'm gonna do H. some... Give me an O! Give me a T! Right now I'm in a GPP block, I'm adding in some conditioning to my routine, uh, getting a, a lot more volume. Is that sweat? Climate change deniers need to come to this gym. What do we want AC? When do we want it now? I've always felt more comfortable benching, more narrow, and that's actually not even my close grip. So that's like my normal bench. I try to get a little bit wider gradually over time, but somehow I always creep back in. I don't know. Been a little bit faster. Joey, have you heard that there's an infection spreading through the gym? A cancer has crept in through the front doors. What? And that is people complaining about the heat. And it's only April. It's only gonna get worse from here. What? We're gonna up to a single at eight on bench, which I really don't even know where my bench is at, but 365 was pretty good to hit. Uh, we're doing some back offs, so I'll do it at 295. I think we're doing four sets of four, and then uh, probably some sort of squat variation. It's a low stress week for me, so kind of let my body recover, manage fatigue a little bit. Then tomorrow, we're gonna have some fun with straw man, and I may go a little bit hard tomorrow on some straw man stuff. So tell me a little bit about what you're doing here. What do we got? Uh, we got pin squats, well, strap pin squats, I guess. It feels a little different, because I guess there's a little bit of slack instead of just a straight pole. Uh, but going up to a single, and then uh, some four by fours. We got a can. Joey's just gonna pause squats today. Joey is actually about six inches taller than I. So we need to adjust. <laughs> I look like, I look like a gnome. Yeah. So we need to adjust the pins. <laughs> so if you didn't know, if you've never visited Untamed Strength, we do not have heating and AC. So every summer, it gets kind of hot. I thought California was supposed to be cold. Yep, nope. You got the Rockies. Not here in Sacramento, in Ball, Sacramento. It gets pretty warm. Huh. There's a lot of people complaining about the heat already. And I'm trying to figure out what exactly complaining does. Well, uh, waste oxygen. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I got I got zero sympathy for the heat complaints. It's normally a no-go in my gym. Yeah, fortunately. Yeah, I think that complaining about the heat to a gym full of people in the same heat is silly, and it's actually quite annoying. Do you know how hot it is? Dude, it's so hot. Can you feel how hot it is? Yep, we all feel how hot it is. We don't need you to tell us. So just stop. It's hot, we know it. Move on. The difference between a, paw, a pin squat and a pause squat is obviously that you're setting these on a pin and pausing. Uh, with a pause squat, pause squats are a little more forgiving. So if you squat down and you're a little bit on your toes or whatnot, you can rock back and adjust your balance before you stand back up. Uh, or you know, on your heels, you can adjust your balance. Make sure the bar is centered and then stand up. 
With the pins, you can't do that. You set the weight down and you're stuck there. So they are less forgiving. Um, and then also, some people when they do a pause squat, they'll squat down and then pause and then they'll kind of like bounce back out of the bottom using a little bit of stretch reflex, which is not the point. With a pin squat, you can't do that. Um, and then lastly, some people have, uh, if, if they're uh, really asymmetrical and the bars tilt a lot when they squat, that's usually not that big of a problem, but if it's actually causing them to like spin on the way up, uh, pin squats can be helpful for that because you can you can feel your right side hit every single time, every single time. Or you set it down and you feel yourself kind of windmilled. Uh, so the pins can let you know where your balance is when you set down. Uh, so I might have some like tempo to a pin. <laughs> yeah. Caught me so off guard. Crazy <laughs> start squat. I saw it. I was just like, no. it just stopped me. And I, no. I was like trying to keep going. No. <laughs> yeah. So for those of you who train in a warehouse, if you have your deadlift bars, your Ohio Power bars your deadlift platforms, your squat racks, your calibrated plates, a good training environment. Just be thankful for it. Try not to find the one thing to complain about, the heat. Uh, I think it's a good trade-off for being in an air-conditioned commercial gym, honestly. Um, and it's not that I have any sort of tough guy mentality of, hey, don't be a pussy, I don't care if it's hot. It's more the fact that I can't afford to put AC, $30,000 AC in this building, and I don't even own this building, so it's not really reasonable. Um, so. Do the whole gym a favor, shut up, just train, and be thankful for what you got. And you can actually think of this summer as a, uh, a heat block, like a hypertrophy block or a, training, or a GPP block, and uh, once the heat's done with, you're gonna be that much better. Let's go, brawl. Come on, baby. Yep. If we were part of a NASCAR team, a NASCAR pit crew, we would send our car out with three wheels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention earlier, you could also use uh, pin squats as uh, a teaching tool to get someone to get down to depth, go down to the, the pins, or you could use it as an overload and set it like an inch or two above depth, uh, and they'll be able to handle a little bit more. Which, if you were to do like a pause squat one or two inches above parallel, you're probably not gonna be able to, you're probably not gonna be able to do more than your normal like, yeah. squat with a bounce. Um, so you can overload the squat with a pin squat uh, heights. And also, you could do for rehab. Uh, if they can only go down you know, halfway to a pin and then stand up, um, you could use it for that. Something I was doing recently with uh, knee tendinopathy was uh, uh, box squats uh, to a little bit higher as well, so kind of, not exactly a pin, but your butt parallel, and I was able to train without pain, so just kind of like you say, another variation to help manage the pain so you can still train through it, but 100%. Talk to me, gym owner to gym owner, about complaining about the heat. I think if you're coming to the gym, complaining about the heat, you're focusing on the wrong thing. You go to the gym to focus on training and embracing kind of the, the struggle, the journey. Like, like lifting is gonna be hard. Everything about it's gonna be somewhat challenging. Just embrace the fact that you're being tested with the heat. Like, look at that on, you know, how can I get better? Well, it's hot. I can complain or I can say, yo, I'm in the gym right now, it's hot. Some kind of badass about that to me. So I like to kind of let that stuff fuel me. Like, not everybody wants to train in a gym that's hot. You're gonna set yourself apart from others by showing up and doing it. Um, and honestly, like, there's so much worse in life. Like, uh, like Alan said earlier, you know, you're blessed with the opportunity to train and be in a gym. There are people that don't have that opportunity. So in the grand scheme of things, like, you know what, suck it up, and uh, you're supposed to sweat. It's training, it's working out. That's my thoughts. When I was in the Marine Corps, we would often, uh, punishment would often be 
gyms closed and we'd have to stay after our work. Uh, after our day was supposed to be done, we had to stay and clean or do a bunch of BS. Uh, and so the gym was either closed or we had to do a bunch of stuff and we couldn't work out. So your boy would wake up at 2.30, oh, 0, 2.30, uh, and go to the gym and be done with my workout and in for morning formation because I knew or I had a uh, uh, suspicion that we were gonna get in trouble that day uh, or on Fridays we would have inspection. Thursday was field day where we clean, Friday we get inspected and I was like, dude, we fail every single time. Uh, so Friday morning I'm going to the gym, getting my workout in uh, before morning formation and then later on the day, boom, gym's closed or you guys are gonna stay and clean all night. Um, so I was cool with it because I, I already trained in the morning. Lesson is, if you can get here in the morning and train when it's cool, then do it. I don't think you have any excuse other than if you're working, you know, back-to-back -back jobs or if you have kids at home. But if you're single and you uh, don't have any kids, get to the gym early. Don't come to the gym at 5 p.m. and complain about how hot it is if you haven't done anything all day. <sighs> That's it. Dragon time!